Yo, what's poppin' YouTube world? It's your boy Sneaky Freak 88 coming to you live with a new pickup. Um, I'm actually uh, just getting in the house from New York City. Um, I, it is 1.25 in the morning, uh, July 27th, 2013. Um, and I just came back from New York City uh, from grabbing yet again another pickup. Shout out to Flight Club New York. Y'all always good to me, man. Y'all always show love. You know, y'all had something that I, I needed. Um, badly and I'm so glad that I went up here to get them so um I got another pickup uh that I'm gonna do first and then I'm gonna jump into the pickup from the day so uh first thing first the very first pickup is uh the reason why I'm gonna review these is because these are dope so they are a pair of vans but they are a pair of vans that I have never seen before all red vans um I was in journeys um <clears throat> about a week ago, a little over a week ago, last Sunday, rather, and I was walking around, I was just looking for a couple of things, you know, just browsing the store, and out the corner of my eye, I seen these, I've never seen a pair of all red vans, so when I seen them, I was like, yo, it's a must grab, uh, of course, when I went to go get my size, they didn't have them, so I had to order them from um, the Journeys factory, uh, and they shipped pretty fast, I got them, I ordered them Sunday, they shipped, I got them about Wednesday, I think, Tuesday or Wednesday, I don't remember, but at any rate, um, uh, these were definitely good to me. Um, um, I think these are pretty dope. So let's just go ahead right into it. So at the bottom, uh, yeah, just your black rubber sole that uh, it is diamonds and circles or octagons rather. Oh no, that is hexagons. Um, um, so you got diamonds and hexagons. Um, diamonds on the toe, diamonds on the heel, and then I guess on the ball of your foot you have the uh, hexagons. As you go around the midsole, you have an an entire true mono red all the way around the sneaker. On the very back of the sneaker, you have your uh, Vans off the wall logo with the white in it. And as you get to the actual canvas of the sneaker, again, that is all true mono red all the way around the sneaker. Even the laces are the true mono red with the van sign as well. And then on the inside, they blacked it out and they put Vans uh, on the inside, which I thought was pretty dope. So, um... <clears throat> these were uh, definitely a must grab when I seen them, man. I thought, thought these was hot, man. Let me know what y'all think. A lot of people really didn't like these, but uh, I actually like these. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm not just a Jordan head or or uh, a fan of basketball sneakers. I like all sneakers. All sneakers are, are dope. And I also ordered a pair of sneakers um, that should be due to come in uh, in a couple days. Um, they're super something, but I got them off of Jack Thread. Shout out to JackThreads.com. Um, they sent me this this promo for 20% off, and I couldn't pass it. I paid like 30 something bucks for these supers, but they're really dope. So I can't wait for those to get in. But without further ado, we are going to hop into my pickup from today. And as you all know, some of you may know um, what I'm grabbing the Air Jordan 3, the white, fire red, cement, gray, aka the 88s. And here they are. Look at those. Uh, the idiots. Yep. That is the boys. So, without further ado, we're going to hop right into this. Um, <clears throat> first and foremost, let me just say this. I actually had the, uh, the cements that came out uh, last year, and I would say the quality of this leather, leather is a lot better. And the quality of the leather the last three years, in my opinion. Uh, this leather um, is definitely uh, a lot more treated than the leather that he put on the um, the Jordan brand put on the old Cena 3s. Uh, but at any rate, um, I got both of them, so whatever. So at the bottom, of course, you have your original um, uh, Jordan 3 uh, bottom. Don't worry, this dirt is from me when I tried to sneak around walking around the store. Uh, but at the bottom, you have your Jordan sign here <clears throat> in red on the arch of the foot. Uh, on the ball of the foot, you have that uh, uh, you have that um, red uh, toe, spat, toe patch right here. Um, as you go up uh, to the midsole, you have your white midsole, um, just about around the length of the shoe, with a little bit of gray along the toe patch. Um, and then you have your air bubble on the heel, your heel air bubble, and then you have black, uh, black, white, and gray on the back of the midsole. All right. So the '88s came with this really thick plastic Nike Air uh, chain. This is what they used to put on the, the threes back in the day, or any Jordans back in the day. They used to put these on there. 
Um, so I thought that was pretty dope that they brought that back. <clears throat> of course, you have your elephant print uh, along the toe box, the gray and black elephant print along the toe box of the Jordan 3s. <clears throat> you have the the elephant print along the uh, the back as well um, on the heel. And then on the back, you have the Nike Air with the swoosh shine uh, here on the back, uh, written in black. As you go to the front, again, like I said, this tumble leather. Uh, it's very well treated. Jordan did a very Jordan Brand did a very very good job on this leather. Um, um, it that actually feels like a really really uh, well put together shoe. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because I'm hyped that I got them, but uh, this feels like a really well put together sneaker. Um, <clears throat> so uh, the leather is really really well, and of course you have your uh, your white laces, and you have your red uh, Jumpman sign on the pull tab, and then on the inside, of course you know it, you have your Nike Air. So. Um, again, here's another look uh, here at these, and uh, maybe uh, I will do, maybe my, my next video will be um, a uh, comparison video in between uh, the 88s and the, the 3s from last year, the semi 3s from last year, so um, I definitely paid a nice price uh, all together, it came up for these, I wanted to pay 381 I think. Uh, for these, but to me it was worth it. Um, again, a lot of people would say I'm crazy, but to me it was worth it. Uh, somebody told me to check out, um, uh, man, I think it was kicksoles.com or something like that. And um, before, if you know me, before I do any purchases, I always uh, uh, do my research and review and see what's what. And I got way too many negative feedbacks. Uh, you had a couple people that still buy kicksoles, but uh, I got way too many negative uh, uh, feedback from them for me not to deal with them. So I decided, you know, because they had these for 202 I think, or something like 202 or something like that. Um, I didn't mind paying the extra $180. Why? Because I know with, with Flight Club, they only deal with Authentics, and um, it would it wasn't going to be like I, I read reviews where they said that um, certain sneakers weren't shipped, like people would pay their money, certain sneakers weren't shipped, or uh, they got stuff, but it was fake or it was B grades or anything like that. I didn't want to get involved in any of that. I wanted to go to New York, go into Flight Club, pay my money, get my sneakers the same day, and bring them home and do a review for y'all. So, um, hopefully, uh, next Saturday, I will be getting the Fire Red 3s. Um, and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, for my birthday, what I'm trying to uh, get is the Denim, the LeBron Denim 10s. Those at Flight Club right now are 550 uh, Flight Club New York, and Flight Club LA, 375 um, I don't know why, but um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do yet. Uh, common sense is telling me to go with the 375 out LA, but uh, we'll see. Maybe the prices will fluctuate uh, and change by the time my birthday. My birthday is September 1st. So, again, uh, y'all know the drill. I appreciate all the comments, the love. Um, like I said, I appreciate it. If everybody keep it respectful. I got a lot of dudes that are calling me hype beast, and, um, you know, like it's just it's crazy some of the comments that I get. Um, but <clears throat> if anybody would, you know, like I said, know me, no, I've been collecting sneakers since I was a senior in high school, so there's nothing hype beast about me. Um, I've been doing this. If, if For a lot of y'all that think that just because I don't have exclusives, you also have to remember I'm a grade school 7, so a lot of exclusives don't drop in grade school 7s. And if they do, they're a heck of a lot more money than what y'all pay for uh, retail. So Because those, those are considered the prototypes. So, um, at any rate, um, like I said, I appreciate the love that I'm getting. Uh, keep following me. I'm going to keep bringing the heat. I'm going to keep doing what I love You know, because I love this. This is a passion for me. I really love it. So. Um, y'all know the drill, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, like I said, follow me on Instagram at the shoe Hefner. Uh, again, that is at the shoe Hefner. T H E E S H O E H E F F N E R. So uh, show me love, and uh, yeah, hopefully the next review you guys should get will either be the supers that I ordered or my fire red threes. But hopefully it will be my supers because I hope they don't take forever to come in. So, um, like I said, rate, comment, subscribe, show love, and keep everything um, clean for me. And y'all know what I do. It's your boy Sneaker Freak 88 and I'm signing out. Peace.